it's gonna be a little bit of a another winter day wintry day but hey that's what we were expecting right good thing it didn't surprise us 261 crashes reported in 18 hours during weekend snowstorm in the Midwest must have been a doozy man good morning everybody just going through trucking news first thing this morning trying to keep up with what's going on uh, this article here on CDL life was posted on December 6th so we're talking about like uh, last weekend and at least 261 crashes like I said in 18 hours in Minnesota so that's just south of here that's our I'm in Manitoba Canada that's our uh, neighboring US state we share a border with them that is insane from 5 p.m. on Saturday December 4th to 11 p.m. on Sunday December 5th 261 crashes so uh, be careful out there everybody you know people in Minnesota they know snow just like people up here we know snow but every year it seems uh, a lot of people forget <laughs> so be careful out there we all want to get to work safe we all want to get home to our family and loved ones safe <sighs> preaching to the choir here I know but uh, watch out for the other drivers on the road around you they may not be as aware as you are Get everything loaded up. I don't have too much, just like my lunch kit, my my lunch. Sorry, said that twice. My lunch kit, my backpack, is what I meant to say. My keys and everything. I'm not sure how long I'll be using this truck. I guess until my truck gets fixed. Not sure how long, but Shouldn't be, shouldn't be that long. I mean, we'll get to it. Not too sure what's on the agenda for today yet, but it is Friday, and I got a pretty good sleep last night, so I'm feeling better today than I was yesterday. Yesterday I was just, well, the last couple of days I felt like just maybe I wasn't getting enough sleep, but I mean, seven hours should be enough, right? So I got nine today. I, I need a lot of sleep apparently. I don't know what's going on. Why can't I get my zipper? Open? One second. Can't get my zipper up. There we go. Yeah, so it's gonna be a good day. Mostly because it's Friday and we're going trucking. Come on. Can't go wrong with that. This truck is more old school than mine. I think this one's a 2005. I'd have to double check that for you guys. It's got kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's got red lights in the gauges. All right, let's do this. To the north. So my regular truck is uh, going to be in the shop a little longer than expected. Yeah, it makes sense now why uh, it hasn't gotten in there yet. I see a school bus stopped up ahead there. I'm just gonna stay in the left lane because I'm gonna have to move around them anyway. But uh, my truck has got a major coolant leak. What's weird is it wasn't leaking when I got towed. But there's a pool of coolant around it now, so I went to go and look. Oh wow, there's a deer right there. Did that bus hit a deer? You see that mangled deer? I bet you he hit a deer. No way. Was it you? No, it wasn't him. Oh, okay. He wasn't all smashed up. Someone hit a deer recently. But anyways, yeah, so there's a new issue with my engine now. There's coolant leaking out of the right side of the motor. Right near the turbo. Not at the turbo, but sort of in that, that area there. Keep in mind, I'm not a mechanic. So once the mechanics look at it, they'll be able to figure out what's going on. But it is going to be a bigger fix now than just a frozen relay or a frozen valve, that's for sure. Who knows, maybe that engine has finally bit the dust and it needs a rebuild. Who knows? I knew that day was coming. It was burning a little bit of oil. It's an old motor, it's got almost two million kilometers on it. I don't know if it's uh, been rebuilt before, but it's got well over a million miles. Probably close to 1.5? No, 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 not 1.5 yet. Well, over a million miles. 
So it's it's time, right? I knew the time was coming soon. It's really bright outside. Really bright. I was sent here to pick up a trailer. And we got a flat roll type behind us here. Triaxle. I'm gonna bring it back to the yard. I don't know what we're gonna use it for, but I know that we're like running at capacity. We're so busy, so we've been renting a few trailers so we can keep up, but we're doing it. <laughs> Getting her done. The only thing I don't really like about this truck, if I have to not like something, is the fact that uh, that screen in the back is a little bit high. It's higher than the one on my truck, so the back window doesn't really do much. Which is probably why it hasn't been cleaned in a while. But, uh, yeah, that's all right, though. We got mirrors, right? It's worth it for this. This extra few inches. That is nice. Stretch out in here now. Wow. It's been a pretty low-key day for me. Not much going on. Well, I mean, I did pick up my load this morning. Toulon brought it back. Picked up this uh, flatbed. I guess it has been a busy day. I just, I don't know. I've just been feeling kind of on autopilot. You know, I'm just getting her done. Nothing too special about the day. Of course, people start messaging me as soon as I start driving because that's just the way it goes. Nobody wants to talk when I'm parked. Oh, come on, find a gear. There you go, what's wrong with me? There you go. You're gonna rush around, aren't you? There you go. Give her, bud. I'm gonna come in that lane. Oh, you see, I was coming, you could have just waited. Oh, okay. Either way, we both got what we wanted. So today's Thursday, which means tomorrow's Friday. It's been a good day today. I can't complain. The weather is nice. It's warming up, just like they said it would. They were right for once. And it's supposed to be pretty good weather this weekend. And that's a good thing because I'm going to have to replace the cover on our carport. <laughs> we had a windstorm. Did I tell you already? Did I tell you this morning? I forget. We had a windstorm blow through last weekend and it tore up our carport. We don't really use it for all. We use it for storage and stuff, but uh, it doesn't look really nice when it's all ripped up. So I went and got a new cover for it, like 450 bucks. But thank God Canadian Tire had it in stock and I was able to go get it. And uh, I'll have to put that on this weekend on my day off. That's what I'm planning for Saturday. Big weekend plans. <laughs> I'll show you when I get home. It'll probably be dark. We might have to show you on the weekend because it seems nowadays in this time of year, the only time I'm at home is when the sun's down. I'm in line here on the street. I'm going to be loading a load of lumber on this trailer. I was told to bring a riser, so I'm just taking the strap off of here now so that when I get in there, I'm ready. And I can quickly move this to wherever they need it. I'm not too sure if we'll even need it. Maybe I won't even need it. And then uh, we're set and ready to go. It's a beautiful Friday morning. Did I mention it's Friday? That's going to be a good day. Oh, oh, you bet. This lumber I'm picking up is going to the U.S. I think it's going to Indianapolis, uh, Indiana. So I got to make sure that they load it up correctly to be legal for American weights. You're not allowed to haul as much weight in the U.S. The uh, regulations down there are a lot tighter. It's, it's harder to move stuff. Cause you can't haul as much so you have to remember that when you go down there you can't load up as much and the weights can only be up to well, I'm, i've got tandem so thirty-four thousand pounds on the trailer axles and the truck axles behind the cab and up front here up to twelve thousand, so up to a total of eighty thousand pounds now here in manitoba we're allowed to haul a total of eighty-seven thousand five hundred pounds or we, we do it in kilograms uh, but uh, that's how it is in pounds. And if you go out to the east, you can haul up to 90,000 pounds and, and higher in some places. So reducing your freight down to be within American standards in the U.S. 
you got to take a huge chunk of profit off of it <laughs> in order to be legal there. Can't make as much money. But, uh, you know, the, the, the highways are nicer down there. Uh, they got a, a bigger system of highways because they have more people, obviously. I often think, you know, if Canada had the same population of the U.S., if we had, what, 340 million people here instead of 38 million, I mean, our countries would be very much indistinguishable besides one being metric and one being whatever system they use their feet and in inches. How many feet are in a mile? 5,280? Like, did you just pick random numbers and just say, I'll just put this together here and that together? What's the freezing point of water? 32. Why? <laughs> Nothing makes sense, but <laughs> that's because I'm a little biased and I'm from the north and we speak metric where, you know, the freezing point of water is zero. The boiling point of water is 100. One kilometer is 1,000 meters. It, it's just... Makes a whole lot more sense in, in my mind. and uh, But <laughs> that's the main difference between the two countries. We both have a, a majority language of English. Canada has a big French population as well, not just in Quebec, but also in southeastern Manitoba here and across northern Ontario. There were French and uh, English and French, whereas the U.S. is majority English with a good chunk of Spanish uh, down around the, the Mexico southwestern area of the country there. So between English, French, and Spanish... That's uh, our two countries together. And if we had the same population as them, I mean, I, I I think everything up here would look very similar. You know, there would be a lot more to do. But since we have less po less population, I mean, what do we need these big, massive nine-lane highways for out here on the prairies, right? I mean, there's like two people driving down the road, eight lanes wide. That wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> but hey, Canada's growing fast. Like our, our population, when I was born was under 30 million i believe oh yeah well under 30 million and we're at 38 million now when i was in high school our population was 32 million now we're 38 we're probably over 40 million by now it's it's growing you know so give it a few decades and there'll be a lot more people around here the world in general has got a lot of people eight billion when i was born there was something like five billion eight billion people like where did they all come from right that's a lot of people you know just the united states not even including canada I mean, we can throw ourselves in there because it wouldn't make much of a difference just the united states the third most populated country in the world is only four percent of the global population that's like a decimal point just barely and when i go through the u.s i'm just like looking around and wonder like there's so many people and you go to New York City, you go to New England, there's just people everywhere. And then you think to yourself, huh, that's only 4% of the people on this planet. I don't think we fully can wrap our heads around that. How many people are here until you go to like uh, India or China? Like China has 1.3, 1.4 billion people. So they have the population of the United States. Think of how many people are in the United States right now. Like, if you're in New England, you go up and down the East Coast, it just seems like it's just packed full, right? People everywhere. Now, think of this. In China, they have that same amount of people, plus added on top of that, another b -b billion people added on top of that yet. Billion. That's insane. And that's just one country. India is the exact same way. Another billion people added onto the population of the U.S. Like, I've never been to that area of the world. I just can't imagine how they make it work. I'd like to go there and just see how it functions. How do you all fit here? How do you all make sure you're fed? How do you feed that many people? How much food do you need? So this one does have matching half fenders. <laughs> this is the truck anyways. Very similar to my truck, except this is the extension that's on the back of this one. You see it? That little bit there makes such a big difference inside the cab. So I won't be staying in this one, but I'll be using it tomorrow again. Very similar to uh, 2025, except half fenders. <laughs> and more space. 
This is the only city truck that has that extra little thing on the back. The other ones are all, all like this, you know, like mine. Just a flat back, like that. But this little thing gives so much extra space. It's really nice. A little bit of a treat to use it for a couple of days. Look at that. You can't beat that. Sunset about a half hour ago. What is this called? Twilight? It's five o'clock. Five o'clock twilight. <laughs> well, only a couple more weeks and the days start getting longer again for daylight hours. As far as I know, the days stay exactly the same length. That's what they tell me. Boy, do they feel shorter though. Don't really know what's been up with me. The last couple days, maybe I just haven't been sleeping as well. Like I have energy, I'm up, but I'm sort of just like almost in my own world, just sort of huh. I think we all go through those days where it's just sort of we're just sort of existing, doing our thing doing our best but you know like I said, on a daily vlog you can't have an exciting day every day it's real life and I'm sure you can relate, I'm sure you have days like this all the time too I'll just go, go home, I'll go to bed early get a nice good rest good rest and uh, catch up on our sleep on the weekend, you know? Feel better in no time. I'm not sick or anything, so. At least I have my health, right? I wasn't getting my usual great sleeps this week, so my vlogs were a little off. I actually skipped a few days. I don't even know if you noticed or not. I tried to seamlessly make the vlog just flow without uh, anyone noticing, but you know me, I'm a sharer. I can't. Uh, I can't and keep secrets. <laughs> I skipped a few days and I actually combined Thursday and Friday into one video here. If you noticed, give me a like. And if I slipped that past you and you didn't even notice, give me a like anyways. <laughs> so uh, I'm in the future here right now. I'm getting ready to do an overnight again. So I wanna get you prepared for that. We're going overnight into Ontario. And that's all I'll tell you for now. We will be back in Big Blue, number 42, Big Blue. That's what I've decided to call her. That, that's something I'm looking forward to. Closing up this vlog here. Yeah, this uh, was pretty low energy this week. I just, I don't know, wasn't, I, I thought I was, get, I was getting like seven hours a night of sleep. But for some reason, my body is different than most people because even like my dad and my mom too, they can function off of like four hours of sleep and just work a whole day. Me, if I don't get my full eight hours, I'm just a zombie for some reason. So I can't. I can't settle for seven hours, I have to go eight. That extra hour does it a lot for me. It reminded me this week. Ugh. It's just the way my body works, I guess. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, got to drive 3010, which is my coworker's usual truck. My truck, 3006, while I was driving it, it broke down. I thought it just froze. And I think that was part of the problem, but the problem got a lot bigger as, it, as time went on. Like, it was really weird. I had to get towed back to the yard because my air tanks, I believe my air line, lines froze up. I couldn't build air all of a sudden or something was going on. So I got towed back for that reason, put it in the yard. It sat there for a day and then like a day later, suddenly it decides to lose all of its coolant for whatever reason. It's just sitting there. Also just poof, all the coolant runs out. No one touched it. And now it's in the shop right now and they're working on it and they'll fix it they know what they're doing uh but uh it's there's some electrical uh gremlins in there is what they've been telling me and they've been trying to figure out what it is uh but they'll get it that's what they do that they're that's why they're the mechanics and you know, these things happen it's to be expected it's not you know it's it's either you know you have old trucks and you fix a part here and there or you have brand new trucks and you have to send it in for warranty work all the time because the engine light pops on because the sensor went bad. <laughs> all the time. So, trucks, man. I tried owning my own truck a couple of times already in my uh, uh, 50... I guess I've been driving truck for 15 years now. I've been here driving at this place for 10 years now. And I've tried owning my own truck more than once. And believe me, it's tough. It's tough. Things go wrong when you, you least expect them to go wrong. And sometimes you have to spend a lot of money just to figure out what went wrong, and then you actually have to fix it and spend a lot of money on the part to fix it. It's it's a lot of stress, and it's a huge deal. My dad owns his own truck still. Well, his truck's been running great. He's had great luck with his, mostly because he has a cat engine. 
I don't know how you guys feel about Caterpillar engines, but they are obviously the best, along with Detroit. Detroit's a good engine brand as well. And I'm not throwing shade at Cummins or anything. They're a good engine too. I don't have as much long-term experience with them. My dad has the, the cat engine and man, that thing just won't die. Knock on wood. But uh, it's just, <laughs> it's just going and going. I, I think his is a 2005. It's probably got like three and a half million kilometers on it. It's probably got over two million miles on it already. It just keeps going, going and going. That's how those old trucks are. They're hard to kill. They 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 were built, they were built to run for a long period of time back then. And they're just not made that way anymore. The parts are made cheaper, or you know. And there's so many electric sensors everywhere, and so much electronics in there, and computers, and wiring, and microchips and emissions and DEF and you know it's uh it, there's a lot more things that can go wrong now but I'm just gonna wrap this up anyways because I haven't wrapped up my last couple of vlogs properly and I just wanted to say thank you for watching I appreciate you very much we've been growing uh, quite a bit in the last month again which is awesome we've been seeing a spike in new subscribers I wanted to welcome all you new subscribers here if you want to know more about me if you haven't already down below in the description of my videos uh, it'll explain to you what I'm all about, where I'm at, and what I'm doing. And I hope you stick around. We make new videos most days. Uh, I like to say daily vlogs, but uh, like this past week, when I need a break, sometimes I just need a break. Uh, but we've been making vlogs for over 10 years here now. I think we're on vlog 2,427. And that's just since we started counting. There was lots before that yet, but that's since we started counting. <laughs> since 2011, so. Welcome, I hope you stick around. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Again, below in the description, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.